Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Third Realm, playing as Great Moravia. Okay, so, I've been doing a little bit of reading trying to understand when this whole conventional thing can happen. <clears throat> I can only fire when I'm at peace, so uh, I probably want to stay at peace for a while. Uh, and I can't have any truce timers with any of the electors that are in the opposing league. And that is Salzburg and Brandenburg. Do I have a truce timer with Salzburg or Brandenburg? No. No, I don't think that I do. So as long as I stay at peace, I think... I think that all of the conditions are met. We just have to wait for a little while and hope that it eventually fires. Maybe we get lucky, maybe we don't. doop a doop doop We're gonna lose lost conquest master party, that's fine. Lost an advisor. We should get... How much money are we making? Not much. We should get a cheap advisor is what we should do. Hmm, I don't want to get Fort Defense, it's just not very good. Alright, Fort Defense for the time being it is. Uh, we can afford to get the next level of Diplo Tech, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. We are now ahead of time on everything there. And let us upgrade our trade depots. So that we can get a reasonable amount of trade flowing. Now I do want to experiment a little bit with the trade here, because I think... I think, think, think that having this guy here in Vienna is not really doing a ton for me. It gets me a little bit more control in Saxony, a little bit more money coming this direction. But I'm wondering if it actually would be better to collect here in Constantinople, because there's a lot of money leaving that we are not taking advantage of. So if we try collecting from trade here, and do that. And maybe we'll experiment with having our ships protect here as well. In fact, we actually should probably build some more ships, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three... Four, five. It's not a lot of ships, but it's something. Estates demand more control, do they? I will give you this. There we go. Okay, so the amount of trade we're making right now is 13.77, which is utterly pathetic. I usually have way more than that by now. But this has not been a very trade-central game at this point. I'm nowhere near an uh, end node for trade. 27.94, okay. Yep, I'm just going to go ahead and say that that sounds pretty good. Let's see if protecting trade here makes a big difference, too. We lost another advisor. Oy vey. Uh, if we got the national unrest guy, I think we reduce the likelihood of some of these firing. They go away entirely. Not a huge deal, though. Yearly prestige? I think I need to get somebody cheaper, to be honest. Let's go to the clergy. Missionary strength is not that... Well, it actually could be important for when I have to start converting a lot of Sunni land. Oh, well, maybe. And that doesn't give him too much influence. Alright, we're gonna do that guy. Missionary Strength for cheap. Sounds nice. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Don't care about any of your military access requests. Denied. All of you. Uh, Nassau is quite happy as things currently stand. Um, looking kind of unlikely that we are going to be able... To get everyone to vote for me as before. Probably, I mean, we're already maxed out with Brunswick, right? Yeah, about, actually. Let's try influencing Brunswick a little bit. There you go. Get a little bit more opinion with them. Give them a few more reasons. Trier, I really need you to break up that reliance with Brabant. That's just not working well for me here. They say no. If I have a Cassus Belly against them, they would say yes. They'd be willing to break with almost anybody else, but not the guy that they're voting for. Brabant? Do you care about Trier as much as they care about you? Hmm. I need them to break this so that they're willing to vote for me. They trust Brabant a lot. They don't trust me at all. Hmm. Without a Cass's belly, I'm... Well, I, I, I mean, all I have to do is fabricate a claim on them, right? I think that's all I have to do. We do border them. I forgot about that after we integrated the Palatinate in the last video. You're about to get capped out here on the Papal Influence because we are making 10 per year right now. I guess I will invest a little bit more. 21% chance. It's reasonable. Gain mercantilism twice. And where are my ships? There they are. Okay. Mm, Austria, no. 
Sure, Mantua, you can have your war against the Ottomans. I don't think it's very advisable, but you may have it. Let's take a look at trade now. 30 ducats per month. Okay. Yeah, protecting Constantinople does seem to be working a lot better. We will continue to do that for the time being. Yeah, we don't have as much control here in Saxony, but as a general rule, there's just not as much money flowing into Saxony. Plenty going on here, though. This is a good spot. Owning Constantinople is quite nice. We could hand us off to the burgers and probably get even more, but it's so much development in my state that I, I kind of want to hold on to it for myself. Kind of selfish in that way. A selfish shellfish, as I used to say to my sisters to annoy them. Why am I telling you guys that? I don't know. Okay. More buildings? Sure. Production. Oops. Could get more sailors, but I don't think we need it. More of that. Um, there's a few places where we already have some trade depots, or sorry, some uh, marketplaces, but I don't know if they make a lot of sense. We could build more of them. Mm, maybe not, though. Forts? I don't think that my forts anywhere around here are super duper necessary. We could place one here, I guess. Let's go ahead and upgrade that one. It's close enough to a border with Austria that maybe we could use it. Did I build a fort here? I did. I did build a fort in my capital. That's good. Hmm. Okay, you guys are obviously a little too big. Split. Go here. Split. Go over all these places. One of the wonderful things about taking the land in this nice little cluster is it's much easier to defend against the rebels now. We maxed out with Provence yet? We are. Let's go ahead and pull off of that. I think Salzburg will end up voting for me if... Oh, they have the backing of Brandenburg. Brandenburg's not going to matter at the end of this League War. If Martian is still a republic, that is the wrong religion. Uh, maximum monarch power reached. Okay, how are we doing on tech? Still five, four years ahead of time, my bad. Okay, get a little bit more power going there. Manpower is looking pretty nice. 124,000 right now. Development of iron working. Price of iron goes up significantly. I like that. I'm pretty sure I have a fair bit of iron mines. Help with noble, rebellious nobles. Bremen. Lose imperial authority? Really? I don't want to lose two imperial authority. That's way hard. That's way too hard for me. I guess we will send Diplo power. 50 Diplo power for two imperial authority. Considering it's almost impossible for me to get some right now, that might be worth it? I think. Kinda hard to say. Scientific revolution. We could get some tech cost reduction. What do we want? Probably Diplo, because that's the one we've been struggling with the most for now. Although it might depend a little bit on which idea group we take next. It would be kind of time for us to take another military one. We are going to be struggling on that front. Quality sounds great for the combat ability, plus it mixes very well with innovative. Modern firearm techniques. 20% extra infantry combat ability. That's quite good. Plus another 10 there. Army tradition for better generals consistently. Cavalry combat ability. Artillery. And 5% discipline. Or offensive. Better generals. Recruitment time. Prestige. Siege ability is great. 5% discipline. We'll get that anyway. I think we may want to go for the quality ideas next time. We've been doing really well on the military power. Um, I'm going to go for the Diplotech cost reduction just so we can catch up a little bit faster, since that's the power we're having the most trouble with. Military seems to be more or less okay. Decline of the merchant class. Is there anything I can do with them before I lose some options? Because some of this stuff requires their influence to be 40 or greater already. Let's go for this guy and then we'll reduce it. Just in case we need a master of the mint. Looming disaster. Dominance of the clergy. Really? Yeah, I guess so. 
expires in a few years. Mm. We got a lot of things going on here that are going to expire in 1623, which I imagine will be too late. 1622, barely, barely too late, but it will happen. Hmm. Maybe we get lucky and we get an event where we can reduce it by 10% or something like that. Military access, Nassau, no, no, and no. I mean, maybe we could actually ally somebody like Nassau. We have, here's the thing, we have three diplomatic relations left. Maybe we want to solidify some of these. For example, if I were to ally up Ravensburg, let's do that. Ally Ravensburg, but what I'm going to tell them is I have, well, hang on. I have no interest in joining your offensive wars. I'm just here to defend you. And frankly, the same thing is true of you, Provence. I'm not here to really help you with anything else. So that secures their vote. I could go for Nassau. And do the same sort of thing here. I offer your alliance, but I will not defend, uh, join an offensive war. Yeah. That helps, actually. Quite a bit. I don't know if I want to ally someone like Brunswick, though. There's a good chance I want to force him to release somebody. Same with Trier. Trier has the cores of nations that don't exist. Liege and Klebs, or Klebis. I don't know how you say that. I'm not going to lie. Ryazan. Austria would not defend you right now. We should kill them. We should. We should actually kill them. But if I'm at war, I can't get the thing to fire. Maybe we just hold off on war until... Nassau, did you join? You joined my league. So no electors besides Brandenburg and Salzburg over here. And we don't have truce timers with them. This needs to fire, dang it. It just needs to fire. We gain a claim on Kosovo. Kosovo? Kosovo? Where's that? Oh. Okay, nice, I guess. Hmm. Naval traditions are scorned. For the sake of the army tradition? I mean, yeah, I'd like to get up to 100. Grab this. Get rid of this general. Get a new one. There we go, a 1442. It's okay. It's better. It's an improvement. Protect trade in Constantinople. Make me more money. Um, I'm going to improve with my allies for a little bit. France in particular is not feeling especially thrilled right now. And that looming disaster scares me a little bit. i got a couple years to figure that out. Alsace insulted me. How dare you? You insufferable fool. We should free Ulm. But Wartenberg is allied to not a lot of people. I wonder if I could demand Ulm and then release it myself. They don't have any other cores, right? Yeah. Maybe I could do that. If you fabricated a claim and then threatened war. That would get me some aggressive expansion, but it wouldn't really cost me much beyond that. It's an idea. Way to get some stuff and then not really commit. And then honestly, once you release a nation, I think it reduces your aggressive expansion. So it might even uh, it might even even out. That might be a good way to do things. Genoa, white pieced out. We can convert some people. Let's do that. Württemberg took land they don't rightfully own. But they did not eliminate a prince. Switzerland still exists, but Ravensburg is killing them. But, if I demand land now and they don't like me, there's a pretty good chance that they will not accept my threat in war. Let's hold off for a minute. Okay, Castile is no longer a valid rival. It finally went away. I can rival Austria, but I'm still holding off because I need this dang thing to happen. Okay, do we want Diplo Rep? I really don't like any of these. Go away. Go away. Go away. Let's reset to the next month and see if I can get a better Diplo Rep guy. Uh, anyway, what was I doing? Alright, I just wanted to get a claim here. Let's fabricate a claim on this. Okay, and now I want you to stop 
backing Brabant. Break alliance with Brabant, yes. There we go. No longer allied to Brabant. Now, they're more likely to vote for Austria, but, I mean, hey, it's, I guess it's something? I don't know. They're not very happy with me for doing that. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Let's build up a claim against Ulm, see if we can release them. They should be a free city. Let's wait till the end of the month. And we did not get... We did get one. This guy's expensive as heck, but we can afford it. All right, I want the Diplo Rep guy, and I want as much power as possible. There you go. Dominance of the clergy. It's going to be a bit of a problem for me. Ravensburg, um... No. I don't really see much of a reason to marry them unless I'm desperate to get some more opinion. Peace in the Empire! We're finally gaining Imperial authority again. Let's stay that way, please. Serbian Separatists are very close to firing, but we have plenty of troops ready to go. Hello, Ottomans. Aw, oh, you're gonna go kill Bosnia, are you? Okay. Hi, Albania! You wanna be a vassal of me? I'm not really sure what I would do with you, but... That's fun. No, Utrecht, you suck. I hate you. Let's go away from Sweden. And we did not become the Papal control. Wait. Wait. No, we did. We did become the Papal Controller. Yes! All right. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and invest a little bit. Probably should top off some relations with you. Yeah, okay, we're people controller again. Cool. Uh, can I excommunicate somebody? I mean, probably. Hey, I get an extra diplomat. I'm back to having four. I missed that. That was so nice. No country may be selected for this action, apparently. I don't know if I believe that. Let's wait till the end of the month. Recalculate. No, really. Oh, in the age of absolutism or revolution, the religious influence on politics has decreased to a state and degree that this action would not be taken seriously? Interesting. So excommunications and calling for crusades are actually completely worthless once you get to this stage of the game. I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Huh. Okay. I like that. Let's see. Just need to get that claim on Ulm. On Halt, we'll give Utrecht money. Oh, good grief. Capped out on the power again. Gain the core province. Okay, cores are finally coming through. Serbian Separatists very close to firing now. We have some troops nearby ready to go, though. I know I'm not talking a lot right now. It's partly because I need to conserve my voice a little bit. Interesting. Ryazan wants to sell me a province. Oh, I can finish my mission for 400 ducats right now. Oh. Okay. Thank you! I finished my mission. That was one way to do it. Uh, Alright, fill our coffers. 2,000 ducats. That's doable. Protect our brethren in... Sakis? Ah, okay. The Ottomans. Hmm... Don't know if I care as much about that. I'm not going to vassalize Sox Lomberg. Let's go for the um, Coffers mission. 2,000 ducats is doable, right? Absolutely. But yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to go to war with Ryazan for a little while anyway, simply because I'm trying to get the dang thing to fire. Seriously, it should happen any minute now. Like, I, I, Unless I'm missing something. But I don't think I am. Pretty sure. All right, let's get ourselves a claim on Ulm. Fabricate it here. Thank you. Pull off. Can I threaten war? Yes. They would accept. Perfect. Threaten the war. Give it to me. Now, I want to release the little nation. Ulm, 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 Ulm. There you are. I do not want to play as them. Congratulations, you're free. I don't actually want them to be my vassal, though. 
Cannot or cancel our subject status when it is enforced by a truce. That's kind of dumb to me, to be honest. What if I don't want vassals? What if I just want to release them because out of the, out of the generosity of my heart? You don't want to think about that? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's ever thought about that. All right, now that that's done, would you also then accept... You would also accept some unlawful territory demands. That's funny. Traveling minstrel. Mm, power. Zurich or Waldstadt? Probably Zurich. Give that up. Okay. Make Switzerland a little bit stronger, less likely to die. A couple years away from the looming disaster, if we have to just revoke some land from the clergy, we can. It's not... It's not the end of the world, I just, I was really hoping we'd get an event that that's not going to happen. Ulm, you're a duchy. I thought for some reason you'd be a republic, but I am wrong on that point. Hmm. Do you want to fabricate claims against Austria preemptively? Probably not, right? Let's build on Ryazan. Can I build more claims against Utrecht? I guess we'll try. And we'll also improve on outrage countries? Sure. Cyprus apparently isn't very happy with me. Uh, personally, I don't really understand why I would care, but there you go. No Nassau. Yes, France, you may have that. They're at war with Britain. Ooh. What you doing there? Defending against Gosham Rockenra, who's trying to conquer Crimea. They attacked Genoa. And as a result, you're having to fight the British. Okay. Sounds good to me. Ottomans will give a core to the Mamluks. The Ottomans technically lost their war against Bosnia? Man, this game's turning tall topsy-turvy. I don't think I understand what's going on. Do you understand what's going on? Because I don't want to... I don't know. Greek separatists are about to fire. Ottoman separatists are about to fire. But they're just not quite getting there. Um, Utrecht, once again, has taken land that does not belong to them. And they would not accept. Gosh, dang you, Utrecht. I swear to God. My truce with them has expired, right? Let's take a look. Hang on. What can I do to you? Yes, I'm going to do an Imperial Liberation War. Uh, but I want this! <laughs> Can none of the electors be at war or something? Is there a rule that I'm not aware of? They're fighting Utrecht right now. Let's wait until these rebels fire, but then we're going to go kill Utrecht finally. It's been a long time coming, you know? Come on... Peace, I have peace. Just, 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 just give up, Protestants. Just give it up. You've got nothing. Austria insulted me. Austria knows full well that we are about to become very, very, um, what am I trying to say? They know that something's up. They know that we're not going to be friends for much longer. They're not stupid. Austria's smart. Convert the Muslims waiting on the Greeks. Or maybe we can just go ahead and attack them now. Do we need to wait? Probably not. None of my allies would be willing to join. Sweden has debt. France is fighting the British. Provence has a little bit of debt. Otherwise, they don't owe me favors, apparently. I guess that makes sense. I'm not joining their wars, so I don't have to earn favors with them. Austria has some debt. Nassau, don't owe them favors. Ravensburg, don't owe them favors. Okay. This is something we'd be going in on our own. Fighting Brabant, Mecklenburg, Cologne, and Bremen. Uh, truth be told, we can probably handle it as is. Especially if we can get the next level of tech. Uh, let's get the cheapest thing we can get there. Cheapest thing we can get there. January is about to hit. There we go. We can grab our tech. Ya doop. Ya doop. Ya doop. There's our tech. Okay. Next thing I want to invest my power in 
is getting Lithuanian as an accepted culture, Ruthenian, and Prussian. And that, I think, yep, multicultural nation should get me some extra splendor coming in as well. Okay. Next idea group. We're going to go for the quality ideas. I'm going to grab the infantry combat ability. Perfect. And I think we just go ahead and declare the war. I don't see any reason to hold off. Imperial Liberation War. Conquest, core return, liberation of vassals, liberation of countries. Perfect. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. All right, I declare the war. The Emperor is tired of your crap, Utrecht. Hi, Mecklenburg. Oh, hang on. Let's, let's go over here. Hang on. Kill these guys. Uh, how'd I miss that? How are you guys so much faster than me? Nobody knows. Uh, they actually have enough troops here that they are a threat, believe it or not. Let's go to Lubeck and siege that fort down. Marital Bliss. Okay. Sure, we will gain the nobility loyalty. Can two armies handle this on their own? Probably. I need to send some more troops up here. This is enough to be dangerous. Utrecht actually has like 40 summit thousand troops. Plus Brabant. Yeah, we're actually we're actually in a slightly dangerous spot. Oh, we can upgrade our infantry though. Wait, can I? Cavalry, my bad. And cannons. Leather cannons. Nice. Oh, we don't need to improve with Cyprus anymore. That makes zero sense. Convert these. Uh, we are about to have this fire in June, so we need to get rid of some of the clergy's land. There's a map mode for this. Political. Estates. Nobility. That's the clergy. I need to reduce them a fair bit, to be honest. I'm going to revoke this. Need your influence to go down below 80. You're not going to be happy about this, but... That's what you get. You cause problems, man. You got a little too ambitious, clergy. They're going to be very disloyal for a while. Oh, well, we have a revo <laughs> revolt. That's probably okay, though. I mean, the Catholics aren't going to be a huge threat. Let's just go kill them real quick. Squisha, squisha. Genoa will wipe peace out with Britain. Let's get a general in charge. Pretty decent one if we can. Let's go chase some guys down. I want to hunt down Utrecht. I've been waiting for this forever. Hi, guys. Let's go kill the Greeks. Uh, who should I kill first? Let's go ahead and start working on... Actually, can I catch these guys? Where are you going? You're going to Prague. Maybe I can. Let's turn around. Oh, don't you run from me. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Ha! Enjoy that, loser. France embraced global trade a little late. That's fine, though. Maybe we can go kill Brabant's army. Route that before it becomes a big problem. Britain is insulting me yet again. It's just uncalled for. What did I ever do to deserve this? Absolutely nothing. Oh, there we go. Brabant's army is about to die, and for some reason they're also fighting Salzburg. And leader traits. Extra army tradition. That's kind of cool. You're about to get routed anyway. Let's go kill these guys. That's a stack wipe. That's a stack wipe. Okay, making some progress. <laughs> the power. I am drunk with power. Norway is allying to Brabant. Okay. Not a lot of unrest left. Um, if we really wanted to try, we could put them down. Oh, except for the Muscovites. That's interesting. Let's see. Split. Go here. Uh, there's two con contributing there. That might be enough. Try that. With this army, I guess I should go ahead and try to knock out some of the bigger players, like Brabant, maybe. Let's go try to knock out Brabant from this war. 
They're one of the big contributors to this. Could I have co-belligerized them? I could have, but then I would have had to fight Burgundy, Bremen, and Nassau as well. That might be a little bit more than I wanted to. Trust your neighbor. State maintenance reduction. Again, doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe we want to go kill this, though. That's a lot of troops. I need to shatter them is what I need to do. We're fighting Cologne, too? Gosh, dang. Yeah, this. you know what? This is just going to be my army that goes around hunting. Go hunt these guys. That's a stack wipe. There we go. Okay, now we're making some progress. Emperor is dead. Gain Imperial Authority. The 453 has now in control. And until we have an heir, no one is allowed to vote for me. So the sooner we get an heir, the better. Okay. Routing them. Uh, it was not a stack white. It's unfortunate. Yes, Sweden, I will marry you. We have a 333 consort. Please give me an heir. I'm getting tired of chasing these guys around. My poor men. Their legs are so tired. You don't even understand, man. They even know that I'm coming and run away. Like, it's really annoying. Cologne. Hi, Cologne. Die, Cologne. You guys are marching into Italy now? It doesn't even make sense. Come here. I'll get you. Okay, that's the Siege of Lübeck down. Let's go ahead and siege down Mecklenburg next. Oh my gosh, he's sidestepping me so well. I'm getting so many freaking pop-ups, I can't even keep track. Alright, this is getting dumb. Uh, okay, uh, this, is, this is stupid. Just go siege down some of the little guys, Cologne and stuff. I don't think they can do much of anything to me. Just go knock, knock out all of his friends. Alright, well, we're a little over at time, so I really should be ending this video, but... Uh, I'm debating whether or not I want to just finish this off. I get a lot of claims against Ryazan now. Need to get myself an heir. That's what I need. Kind of required if you want to become elected. I also need to end this war as quickly as possible so I can have a chance at firing that event. And the Muscovites did fire. Okay. Would you guys please come up here and finish them off? Thank you. That's the Siege of West Fallen. Cologne is out. Give me your money. Stop allying Utrecht. Nobody else matters. Money. Goodbye. Okay. Next would probably be... Rabant. Yeah, I have, I have to be ending this video, I'm afraid. But, oh well. We got as much progress in here as we could for the time being. And when we come back in the next week or so... We'll try to release as many nations from Brabant and Utrecht as possible and create some new princes, and then we're just going to have to hold off for a bit and really hope this stupid thing fires and lets Catholicism be the actual religion. Because I'm getting really annoyed by that. It needs, it needs to happen, man. We need that to happen. So many buffs. And I can finally con make force people like Dith Martian and stuff to convert. And I can finally attack Brandenburg and force them to convert. Why do we have three heretic princes? Oh, gosh dang it, Aachen. All right. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.